What's up my crypto legends? In this episode, I need you to pay attention because yes, we've had the fall all the way down here to the $27,000 range. This is a level that we were talking about on the previous videos to get an epic bounce. Yes, we got a bounce of about $300 to $400 here in the last 24 hours. We had this major touch liquidity grab hitting these lows and getting the bounce here from the 618 Fibonacci from this pivot low to the pivot high, as you can see here on the chart. We were talking about this level for a potential quick bounce here for the last few days that was acceptable, good for a scalp, good to take profits, good to be defensive. Now your question, hey, now is it likely that we're gonna to go to lower levels? Is this low going to hold? And if we go to lower levels, which is the zone where we are likely going to get a bounce, guys? If you wanna know this, where the next possible trading opportunity is, make sure to stay tuned. Hi there, Andy here, welcome back to another episode. Let's dive in, guys. Quick reminder, the platform I'm using for my trading right now, Mexi, the lowest fees out there and an incredible deposit bonus for the community. It still has 26 days, guys. You have the link in the description. You also have a competition going on to win up to $10,000 depending on the volume that we reach. All of those links are here in the description. As you can see, Mexi, $20,000 deposit bonus when you sign up and also the competition to win up to $10,000. US dollar tether. Let's dive in guys right away because hey, we've been talking about this level now for several days, getting ready for that possibility. We were likely gonna come all the way down to this $27,000 range and have a reaction. If we zoom in here, it's those lows right there. As you can see, very nice. We were waiting patiently for that level to be hit. When we do take a look at Fibonacci here from this pivot low to the pivot high, tapping that 618 here exactly and this is something that we were mentioning here on the latest live stream hey we're looking for that move down and get a significant bounce of several hundred dollars guys just mentioned here on yesterday's live stream and on the previous video. So we got that bounce. It was good to get into trade and make some profits, be defensive of course, because hey, we are breaking this trend line at the moment and it has significant volume. You can see the volume on this breakout and it looks quite messy, right? It looks like that lower prices is definitely on the cards. Also the recovery. So potentially, you know, this level holding and getting a bounce here, getting back here inside of this higher low support trend line is a possibility. I think it is unlikely at this moment, but definitely a possibility as traders. We need to recognize a bullish case and a bearish case scenario like always guys, because if you're only bullish or only bearish, then of course, yes, you can be making good profits if you're right. But if you're wrong, you can get absolutely wrecked, okay? Now, let's dive in. What is the next level? What happens if we start losing here the lows, right? The current lows that has been created. There could be a possibility of testing the lows from early this morning, Central European time. Now, if we do come down to these lows and fail to hold, there is a daily level that hasn't been tapped yet. So there is a possibility in creating a double bottom here. Let's just say if the price does manage to come down, remember we have that untapped daily level at 26,900, potentially creating a swing failure pattern from the lows created very early this morning, Central European time. So there is a possibility here in creating that double bottom and getting a massive recovery. So that is a level that we potentially want to be ready for guys for our next trading setup. If you did not, did not get into a long position here and take profits here, I'm gonna explain why this was a level to take profits. I was informing to my community in the legends, hey, if you longed this level, this is definitely a zone where you wanna be taking profits. You might think to yourself, but why? Why is this a good take profit? Don't you think a massive recovery can happen? Well, basically you can see here these major lows right there here holding as resistance. So if we do get that box here, on the lower time frames and do this, we can see that these support levels have been holding resistance here the last couple of hours and then we had this major drop. Now, if we were to manage to get above this level, I think it would be a sign of strength. I think that price could recover here very, very nicely, of course, we are still very far away and that's happening, but I wanna let you know if we were to get above there, it would be a clear sign of strength and we could go to higher levels. But also because this massive range that we have created here since the 1st of October, okay, so the start of the month, 
we get the fixed volume profile from the start of the October here, from the 1st of October, we can see that value area low providing that resistance. So not only the value area low of this entire range, it is also big massive support here from previous days, getting that resistance and getting this corrective move. So a clear sign of strength would be getting above that level, guys. Why? Because it's basically a massive support that has been resistance. If you break through that level, then obviously it's a sign of strength. You could hold it as support and have continuation to the upside. We do have the point of control here, which is at the $27,500 range. We could get a quick little reaction right there. Something that we are talking about here in the Legends community. So sign of strength, getting above $27,350 approximately, the value area low, and getting above all of this support level that has been resistance. That would be a sign of strength, and I do think that the price could go to much higher levels here in the next coming days if that level is claimed and switched into support, guys. Very important. I would see the massive rise here on the price of Bitcoin here for the next coming days. Now, yes, that would be the bullish case scenario. What is the most important support level that you do see here, Andy? Well, obviously, it is the $26,500 range, but you haven't got any levels marked up here, but I've got it ready here to mark on this YouTube video. Now, when we do analyze the situation here, we can see a big massive gap. So the next big major support level, 26,500, I'm gonna explain why that is a big support zone where we could get a huge massive bounce, guys. Now we have broken the support trend line here, as you can see on the chart. So you would say, okay, this is definitely a possibility of going to lower levels. It is also the breakout here of this ascending channel that we've had during the last few weeks. As you can see right over here, here, the measured move of a channel breakout, okay, you can see the width of the channel breakout would be coming all the way down to $25,700 range where we do have a weekly level, a monthly level, and it is in confluence in hitting this higher low right over there, potentially to get that liquidity grab and get a huge massive reaction. That is definitely a level to take into consideration, no doubt, because this could be a liquidity grab and get that bounce from that weekly and monthly level. Remember legends, Mexi, the platform with the lowest fees that I am using right now, you have $20,000 worth of bonus once you sign up with the link that there is in the description. However, there is another level before that zone to get a nice bounce of potentially several hundred dollars where you could get into a position. That level is 26,500, okay? So let's just go why that level is an important level of support. When we do take a look at the volume profile here during the month of October, like taking a look at this price action right over here, what we can see is a large spike here on the volume profile. There's a significant spike. This is the point of control from September. When we go here on the beginning of September here from the 4th, the 3rd of September, we can see that high volume node, the point of control from September, guys. Now, this level over here is in confluence with the 7.8 Fibonacci from this pivot low. 6.18 did get a reaction. We did get a bounce. We just tapped that level to the dollar. As you can see, getting that, you know, almost $400 pump here during the last few hours today. So, hey, Andy, what happens if we do lose that level? The low here created this morning, which is currently around about $26,950. And that daily is not going to hold. There is a possibility in a double bottom here, guys. Let's just say that is definitely possible. I would be willing to trade that if we were to get a wick here and a recovery. If we break down of it, break down it, of course, no long trade will be taken. I can see that continuation. There's no reaction, no big wick, no liquidity grab. We continue to the downside. The next level here, the previous month point of control right over here from September. That is at $26,590 approximately. And if you do see here with the price action here on the one hourly time frame, we had a large wick to the downside on the 29th of September. That is definitely a low where you could have a liquidity grab. You can see right there, I'm gonna mark this over here in white so you can see. And that level here is very close to that point of control from September. If we do take a look at Fibonacci from the pivot low here to that pivot high, we can see the 7.8 Fibonacci is right over there at that level. We have 7.8 Fibonacci. We have 
the low right over here potentially for a swing failure pattern, we do have the September point of control. That is a zone where you can dip beneath that level and as soon as you recover, you start recovering, that is a potential long scenario where you could get a significant bounce of several hundred dollars before continuation to the downside of course. Now, if we do come all the way down there, obviously this low that has been created today and the daily will be massive resistance. So we need to be paying attention to those waves. As you can see, the valley area low from this range has provided that resistance after the breakout, guys. So we need to take these levels into consideration. This zone that has provided support, as you can see here on the chart with that daily very close, if you were to hit this low over here for that swing failure pattern, as I mentioned here with that high volume node, there is definitely a possibility for a significant bounce. Of course, we need to be quick on these bounces. You need to be defensive and you just need to take profit. Don't expect the price to have a massive rally. These, this is moving in waves and we are in a downtrend. Of course, we'll be paying attention to that daily, to these lows, around about $26,800 to $900, where the price could create some choppy action and have that rejection to have continuation to the downside. So it's level to level trading, guys. The next level here for a possible bounce, of course, is this level, like I mentioned, September point of control. We also have this low and the 7.8 Fibonacci from this pivot low to the pivot high. If we were to take a look at Fibonacci from the ultimate low level here, from the start of this major pump during September, we can see here that 50% Fibonacci is round about $26,600. It is exactly at this low that we just mentioned. So we also have 50% Fibonacci from this low to this high, 7.8 Fibonacci from this low to this high, We're exactly at that level. Definitely a level where the price could get a significant bounce. We need to wait for that low to be claimed and enter the recovery guys and be very defensive. This is the clearest level that I do see here as support guys for a quick little bounce and then the next one would be this one right over here. Take advantage of these levels guys they could bring in great profits if you know how to trade it properly with very good risk management zooming in here on the lower time frames not much more has to be said guys of course there is a possibility of this level holding we mentioned this here on one of the latest video hey this level is strong we could consolidate and get that bounce of course you want to play defensive trading here if you did manage to get into a long position be defensive stop loss in place here small little losses and big winners guys for the moment this got an epic bounce if you did get in at the correct level we talked about this low over here if you wick beneath that level and also get the bounce okay you do have that long entry as you can see from here all the way here to where we are currently all right the last few hours where we did get rejection that was obvious take profit zone i was mentioning here to the legends community hey if you did get into that long position at 27k you know we could be taking some significant profits at this level because it is massive resistance it's been proven to be support as you can see right there and it is also the value area low from this entire range here since we had this pump into the range we can see that value area low of this zone getting that resistance with these lows as resistance as well so yeah, guys, there is a possibility. A uh, massive sign of strength for me would be getting above these lows over here with a significant pump and getting back inside of this area range, okay, for possible continuation to the upside. It could be very aggressive if that were to be the case. One of the main reasons why I think that that recovery is possible because from this high created on the 2nd of October, we can see this low over here, which was on Bybit. On the rest of exchanges, the low was right over here because this wick down did not claim this low. So you got two counts here. You got this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. But you can see that wave here to the low, wave up here to this high, and now this wave here creating another low from this range coming from an uptrend. Now, this is three waves, which can be very much corrective, guys. So let's say that the possibility here for a recovery, just because we've created three waves here, as you can see, is definitely on the cards. Now, don't get too excited. I'm looking at bullish, bearish. We need to manage risk very well. We can get into shorts at highest levels. We can get into longs at lowest levels. 
for the moment, the breakdown of high low support trend line has happened. So that means that, yes, there is a high possibility that we can go to lower levels. We just need to be ready here with some alerts for that $26,500 and also the $25,900 range like I explained it in this video. Bigger support levels, possibly continuation to the downside guys is likely as we've broken here, support trend line and not much more has to be said guys. I will see you very soon on a live stream. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,